Hello and welcome to this Spring Tutorial. One thing you may have noticed when you are using any open source library in your Spring application, it has a type ahead support when you are trying to configure that, that library or, or, or trying to enrich with some additional information in your application.yaml or, or application.properties file. What I mean is if you hover your mouse and you wanted to find out like, you know, how you should be configuring level, what sort of values it takes and maybe what's the purpose of it. If you simply hover your mouse on this property, as you can see, it's showing you that it log levels um, severity mapping, for instance, uh, you know, logging level dot org spring uh, framework equal to debug so so you notice one thing it has a documentation and it has a little example plus it's showing you like you know all the values this property supports so you don't have to go to uh, you know any external documentation or you don't have to look at the the source code of of this library it is it is super useful because this this information is available right within your IDE. Uh, it could be IntelliJ, it could be Eclipse or it could be any other advanced IDE. But when you write similar property classes in your Spring application, you know, typically that information is not available. That type ahead is not available. And that can be really, really frustrating because let's say if you give this code to your, your colleagues or, or any other uh, downstream consumer, they will have to, you know, look at your source code or they have to look at your external documentation to figure it out how to use your your configuration okay let's take one example i have this java class which is a configuration um, spring configuration or spring properties class called order properties it has a bunch of properties like product id it has a list of product ids you know um, there is a field which has been marked as deprecated and and i have told okay you know why um, this thing has been deprecated what is the replacement for it problem here is if i go to my application.yaml and if i try to let's say you know try to configure this thing say eshop dot i there is no type ahead so what i have to do is i have to one by one you know first look at what is the prefix so i have to say eshop dot order Okay, so I have to put eShop dot order and then again, you know, if I would like to find out the name or if I was configuring something, I, I will have to do all this thing like, you know, jump between external documentation, jump between source code, etc. But wouldn't it be nice like open source libraries, this information is available right within my IDE when I press like, you know, control space or I just do dot or all the you know uh, uh, the key combinations which are available in, in in different different IDs this information can be available right within on my my fingertips okay question is can can you can you do the same thing like open source libraries do answer is yes you can do that okay and it's quite easy to do it once once you know like you know how to configure it so what spring has done they have given us really nice utility as a dependency which you can put into your you know uh, maven dependency file which is pom.xml or your if you are using gradle you can put that dependency too once you have put that dependency everything magically will start to work and your your property file will also look like you know open source which means all the information type ahead etc will be available to you so let's try that bit out so if i omit this line which i just added okay so let's go to our pom.xml, which is over here. Let's add this dependency, which is uh, called Spring Boot Configuration Processor, which sits inside org spring framework dot boot. Okay, and you can mark as as optional. Simply add this this dependency and just compile your code. Okay, so let's try to compile our code and see what magic it it brings. Yeah, so I'm just gonna compile my code Maven clean install. Okay, so code has been compiled successfully. Now, if you go back to your application.yaml and type eShop this time, there you are. <laughs> Do you see the magic? Now, your IDE is showing there is a object called eShop and inside that object, you have bunch of properties. Yeah, you have order. You can see it's saying product ID. This is the documentation which you have uh, put on your, your property. Okay, so if we jump back on our order properties, you can see it's saying product ID. 
and then it has this documentation then it has deprecated etc etc so let's just go back and if you just say eShop dot okay so we got product id is saying product id and then it's saying product ids a list of product ids on on the given order really nice useful documentation okay then third thing is saying order dot product number string okay this thing it's saying has been deprecated okay so if i let's let's try to put this thing over here if i hover my mouse a little documentation is coming as you can see it's saying deprecated by product id see product id so all this this documentation which i did okay now it's appearing as a little pop-up which means my users or my colleagues now don't have to go to source code or any external documentation to find out this information it is available right within the ide okay so now you must be wondering how this whole whole magic is is happening so what's really going on in in the background is when you when you add this dependency and you compile your code what spring is doing or the maven plugin is doing basically it's compiling your code it's reading the properties file and it's creating a json as a metadata json file which is kind of you know further consumed by your your intellij or or eclipse okay um, that's pretty much I, I wanted to show you in, in this video. I hope you like the video. Uh, if you like the video, please give me thumbs up. If you have any question or comment, please um, uh, drop it below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Okay. Um, thanks again for watching this video. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.